Is there a way to predict a police officer's behavior? CAPD is using new technology to determine which officers are at highest risk for having bad interactions with the public. WCCB Charlotte's Marvin Beach is live at police headquarters in Uptown tonight with details. Marvin? Well, police are actually comparing the system to Netflix. You know, you watch a few movies and it predicts other movies you might want to watch. But can something like that work to predict an officer's behavior? June 2015, a police officer in McKinney, Texas, is accused of excessive force. He's seen pushing a girl to the ground, then pointing a gun at several teens at a pool party. Now, there's a backstory to that. Uh, what if I were to tell you that he went on two suicide calls prior to that encounter with a young teenager? CMPD Captain Mark Santanello says this is the type of police interaction the department is trying to prevent using data analytics. It's called the Early Intervention System, and it's been in place since November. It's a partnership with the University of Chicago that looks at everything, from how many traffic tickets an officer is giving out to how many murder scenes they've responded to. We're trying to look at what might be going on in the background, what stressors are out there. All 1,800 CMPD officers are ranked. The top 5% most at risk for having a bad interaction with the public are interviewed. A stressed out officer might be offered counseling, or an officer might get more training on sensitivity or de-escalation tactics. Anything to try to prevent uh, an officer from having bad encounters, of course we're in favor of it. Robert Dawkins with Police Accountability Group Safe Coalition NC says while he supports the effort, he doesn't know how police will measure its success. What you don't get from EIS is you don't get the ability to see uh, the results because it should have stopped somebody from doing something bad. Now, police say they've spent about $50,000 to get this system up and running, but they say most of them was paid for through grant money. Live at police headquarters in Uptown Charlotte, Marvin Beach, WCCB News.